Exactly, the coffee Tinamo. We will start with this one, a classical washed coffee. I put my hand filter on top, the Hario hand filter, and my paper filter simply inside. What I first do is rinse my Hario and all my filter with hot water, so until it got completely wet and soaked with hot water and everything is preheated. So preheated, I uh, shake a little bit the water so all my can gets really hot and throw this water away because we can't let the coffee now get into this water for sure. So one, two, three. I look that everything is even inside the filter. I can also just check the filter. So usually here is where starts one of the first mistakes. We are trying to get all the coffee inside wet and moistured and that it looked a little bit like a muffin but without filling up all the filter. So really easy and slightly I'm pouring the water inside mostly into the middle and I'm moisturing my coffee. After 30 seconds, the second sip will come and this will be a bigger sip. So I'm trying to get the water inside unless I have almost two fingers up to the filter. And now let's do the next sip. And you can see here how far it should go and how much you want to get inside. Always in the middle and now the next sip. Another time up, water inside, till we have the same amount inside than before. And now we wait another 30 seconds. Let's do the last sip. And just wait till the water gets down. Maybe some realize on the filter what is actually happening behind the papers and can observe it or why the spirals are there. And maybe someone can tell me afterwards what he observed and what he or she realized there. Let's check the mark. How much water did we get inside? Are we almost in 400 milliliters? It's a lot about feeling and feeling it if you are not doing it with a scale. But after two or three times preparing such a coffee with a Hario, you pretty quick have the right feeling in your hand for the amount. All right, so let's drink everyone our first coffee for the day. And for this, the same scheme I told you before, we have to preheat our cup. So let's give, give a small preheat and a small cleaning. We can shake the coffee a little bit and then we fill it inside. Smell. And let's see or let's try to realize if we smell the same thing like at the beginning of the package. So if we do now like the first sip, especially when it's so hot, we are trying always to have, have like a first smell with the nose and then take the sip. Maybe you know this from a whiskey tasting or a wine tasting, like smell and then drink the first sip. When it's so hot, the coffee flavors or the typical fla coffee flavors still aren't that expressed. Also the acidity still isn't that expressed, but this will come when it's cooling down. Coffee usually develops a different aroma and taste when it's cooling down and a really good coffee also tastes good when it's cold and still good. And then a good coffee will tell you a story and always a different taste and a little surprise for you which makes then a coffee more than just a caffeine supplier but a small experience.